Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to see Dynamic Data Exchange. So what is mean by Dynamic Data Exchange now? So whatever data present in our SCADA software, I want to send that data to an Excel sheet. So that means a data transfer between SCADA software and Excel. So in Excel, right now, I'm just given a name as analog. And in this cell, I want to see the value of the process. So just uh, open the Excel sheet, save the file. And uh, remember in which cell we want to display the value. So right now we want to display the value in this cell. So this cell is what? Row three, column three. So I'll go to the SCADA window now. In the tag name, we have to do some changes. So open the slider, double click the tag name. So right now the tag name data type is showing us memory real. So memory real means simulation. That means internally in your SCADA software, if you want to send and receive the data, for that we use it. But right now we want to send and receive data from Excel. That means another one software. So the type we have to change it into IO real. So when you give an IO real, extra some information it will ask. For example, in here it's asking minimum EU, maximum EU. So this is uh, in SCADA, how we are watching the data. For example, right now I'm saying uh, the tag name we given A na. So the range is 0 to 100. And minimum raw, maximum raw. So in the Excel sheet, in which format we want to see the value? Maybe you can say, I want to see the value in terms of 0 to 100. Or maybe you can say, in Excel sheet, uh, we want to see as a raw information. Maybe the value you are watching is tank level. So the capacity of your tank level is 0 to 5,000 liters. Then you can type it as 0 to 5,000. So in the Excel sheet, it will display the value in terms of 0 to 5,000. Next is, you can see in here access name. I'll just open it. I'll give add. So you can give any name you want. So I'll just give it as uh, test. In the application name, we have to give two which software we are sending this data. So we are sending to Excel. So just type it as Excel. In the topic name, we have to give the file name. So the file we saved as CD. So CD dot, so Excel extension, we have to type it, Excel as X. So right now, which protocol to use now? DDE and advise all items close it. And in item, it's asking in Excel sheet, in which cell we want to see. So I'm giving it as row three, column three. Save, close. Okay. So right now we'll go to that time. So when I vary the slider, you can see the process is working correctly, zero to hundred. So right now, if you go to Excel sheet, you can see in here in terms of raw data, 0 to 5,000. So right now, when I vary the slider to 100, you can see it's showing 5,000. If it is 0, then 0. So as a Programmer, whatever the client information has been given. So in the IO list, it will be given. So in which data we want to see. Depend on that, you have to set the raw value. So the same way you can do for the digital data also. For example, for digital, if you say switch. So I'm giving the tag name as T. In this also same thing only it will ask. So memory, discrete it given, so change into IO. So it will ask 
access name so already the access has been given so you can select that then close you can give in here what different so you can say as uh, row three column four so right now if i turn on the switch you can see near the value so the status it's showing us what zero one so like this we can able to So I hope you understood how to send and receive a data to Excel sheet. Same way in the next video, we'll see how to send and data to an MS access. Because right now the data we are watching is what current value. Suppose I want to see all the changes. What are the changes we have done in this? We want to update. So for that only the topic name is ODBC. So open database connectivity. So in that we can able to connect with MS access. So we can store all the data. Thank you.